Jesus Christ, this is bloody ridiculous. Why don't we bring your car instead of this bloody thing? I'm jamming here as tight as a fish's ass. Well, Dad, I'm the sure that wasn't going to fit in my car. It sure as hell wasn't going to fit in Dave's Mercedes. I was only thinking of you. I brought the truck so I could bring you a real toilet so you didn't have to dig a hold of it. shit. Now, see, that makes no sense whatsoever. You'll know, you'll know the front from the back. The front will have a door in it, you dickhead. Next time you come up with an idea like this, give me a bit of time's notice, will you, so I can slash my wrists? Just relax. Yeah, all right, I'll tell you what. All I want from you pair of buffalo-headed bastards on this trip is for us to see the sun come up and be there when the sun goes down. In between times, please yourself, but keep out of my bloody hair. But just get that up so a man can have somewhere to doss off the night, yeah, for Christ's sake. It'll be up any second, Dad. He's asleep, isn't he? Uh, yeah. Look at him. Looks peaceful. Looks terrifying. No, he doesn't look peaceful. Oh, get it, Jesus. Absolute fucking frog shit. And you know it. I mean, the bastard's not going to die. Jesus Christ, he's going to outlive both of us. Mate. He's like a whiner. Is this really that tough for you, is it, Dave? Spending, you know, one night together, just you, me and Dad. What, you, want, you want to wait until he actually is dying, or until he's dead and can't do this? And you know damn well why we come out of here. You know damn well. This is where he used to bring Mum. Mum's been dead a long time now, but I, look, death in a family has different effects on different people. For some families, it, uh, it brings them closer together. But for other families, you know, like our circus, it's uh, Christmas cards at 20 paces. Well, I've got you two fellas here. I want to talk to you about something. When I cark it, I don't want any flash funeral. Something nice and simple, get on with it. If either of you two blokes want to say a couple of words, well, that's up to you. You can sort that out after I've gone. But get it over with. Tell them to light up the Bunsen burner and push her into the, into the oven and get her going. And for Christ's sake, one other thing. Don't let your Uncle Terry get involved because he'll balls it up like he did at your grandmother's funeral. So keep him right out of it altogether. Jesus, what took you so long? I've been looking for you everywhere. I couldn't find you. Well, I'll be back. Well, you know what they say, son? There's an old saying. The chef always ruins his first batch of scones. And there goes my first burnt offering there. He's as useless as tits on a ball. <laughs> 